Hello guys. This is our channel Facts of Nature. Today, we are going to see the differences between the haze, mist and the fog weathers. Generally, the weather is the state of the atmosphere, describing for example the degree to which it is hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or stormy, clear or cloudy. On Earth, most weather phenomena occur in the lowest level of the planet's atmosphere, the troposphere, just below the stratosphere. These three weathers are most common in all places in the world. So first, the haze climate. It is traditionally an atmospheric phenomenon in which dust, smoke, and other dry particulates obscure the clarity of the sky. The World Meteorological Organization Manual of Codes includes a classification of horizontal obscuration into categories of fog, ice fog, steam fog, mist, haze, smoke, volcanic ash, dust, sand, and snow. Sources for haze particles include farming, traffic, industry, and wildfires. In Mist Climate it is a phenomenon caused by small droplets of water suspended in air. Physically, it is an example of a dispersion. It is most commonly seen where warm, moist air meets sudden cooling, such as in exhaled air in the winter, or when throwing water onto the hot stove of a sauna. It can be created artificially with aerosol canisters if the humidity and temperature conditions are right. It can also occur as part of natural weather, when humid air cools rapidly, for example when the air comes into contact with surfaces that are much cooler than the air. In fog climate, it refers to the water droplets that hang in the atmosphere resulting in reduced visibility. Moisture in the fog is from nearby sources like rivers, lakes, marshes, or the ocean. The airline industry defines fog in terms of how far away one can see. As a result, they define fog as when a person can see less than 3,280 feet away. On the contrary, the military definition of fog is when a person can see less than 650 feet. In the UK, visibility of fewer than 330 feet is considered fog for driving purposes. So in haze, it's seen from afar and depending on the direction of view with respect to the sun, haze may appear brownish or bluish, while mist tends to be bluish-gray. Whereas haze often is thought of as a phenomenon of dry air, mist formation is a phenomenon of humid air. However, haze particles may act as condensation nuclei for the subsequent formation of mist droplets. Such forms of haze are known as wet haze. In meteorological literature, the word haze is generally used to denote visibility reducing aerosols of the wet type. Such aerosols commonly arise from complex chemical reactions that occur as sulfur dioxide gases emitted during combustion are converted into small droplets of sulfuric acid. The reactions are enhanced in the presence of sunlight, high relative humidity, and stagnant airflow. A small component of wet haze aerosols appear to be derived from compounds released by trees, such as turpins. For all these reasons, wet haze tends to be primarily a warm season phenomenon. Large areas of haze covering many thousands of kilometers may be produced under favorable conditions each summer. In mist, the formation of mist, as of other suspensions, is greatly aided by the presence of nucleation sites on which the suspended water phase can congeal. Thus even such unusual sources as small particulates from volcanic eruptions, releases of strongly polar gases, and even the magnetospheric ions associated with polar lights can in right conditions trigger the formation of mist. Mist is commonly mistaken for fog, which resembles a stratus cloud lying at ground level. These two phenomena differ, yet share some common things. Similar processes form fog and mist. Fog is denser and generally lasts longer, but mist is thinner and more transparent. In fog, there are different kinds of fogs. Some types are formed by the cooling of air, while others are as a result of evaporation. The radiation fog forms when there are no winds and it is generally cold. It occurs during early winter mornings. 
On the other hand, the Valley Funk takes place in a valley and may last several days because of its unique geographical terrain. Upslip fogs appear on hillsides and mountainous regions while coastal fogs take place along the coast. The evaporation fog forms over water bodies that are overlain by colder air whereas the advection fog occurs when moist air passes over a cool surface leading to a cooling effect. Other types of fogs include freezing fogs, hail fogs, frontal fogs, and ice fog. The formation of fog starts with the difference between the air temperature and the dew point being less than 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Besides, the other condition is that the relative humidity is normally 100%. Water vapor condenses to the tiny liquid that hangs in the air. Normally, fogs result in light showers in the form of drizzles or light snow.